So, uh, hey everyone, uh, really glad, uh, glad to have uh, Peter uh, and Kirill from the uh, One Inch team uh, here with us today. So the One Inch uh, team, they, they are some of the most prolific uh, contributors to the ecosystem. And they like, so what we really love about them is that they really believe in shipping. And I think nobody can match them in that speed and turned out to be, they have now grown on to be one of the most popular uh, DEXs out there. And uh, interestingly, they also uh, uh, earlier uh, had uh, visited uh, uh, ETH India and, uh, you know, built some really cool stuff and uh, really looking forward uh, to uh, Peter and uh, Kirill's session on um, how to uh, use the one inch uh, swap API. And also, uh, there are some interesting bounties up for grabs uh, uh, at e the Etherpunk Hackathon. So also looking forward uh, to some more uh, exciting ideas from them on that. So over to you, uh, Peter and Kelly. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Yeah, I will uh, make a, uh, a brief intro overall, and then I will give a uh, speech to Kirill for, for details. So feel free to ask your question in uh, this chat or send uh, question into our Discord channel or Telegram group. So we're here to help uh, with any uh, send, like uh, developer setup. Uh, our OP is uh, like is also very flexible and if you need something special so feel free to ask we can help you and uh, to, to make you the greatest projects based on one inch so uh, uh, in general uh, yeah I, I want to say just uh, in general we uh, flexible you can find this uh, code on of uh, smart contracts on other scan and uh, all our api on swagger and i think i will give a, a speech to kirill so you can go follow by all the the general methods and discuss it yeah okay let's start uh, my name is kirill and i'm the lead developer engineer in one inch i'm doing doing the smart contract logic uh, microservices uh, front end uh, protocols and uh, all other stuff i'm uh, full stack uh, and uh, let's dive into one inch api that allows you to swap one token to another token with the best rates on the market <clears throat> you have a uh, label on in, in the center of your screen, like exit from conference. If you can remove, uh, like move it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, here is the Swagger API, and also we have the documentation that you can find on top of the um, uh, one-inch site on the header, and. Um, Let's look at the methods in Swagger API. To get the quote in exchange one token to another, you need to call a quote token. There are three parameters uh, that are required here. The first is a source token, destination token, and amount of source token in a way that you want to swap. Let's try. For example, I want to uh, get the quote uh, in, ex uh, in exchange uh, Ethereum. Have a nice shortcuts here. For example, for DAI. And I, I would like to exchange, example, 100 Ethereum. And let's try this. And in response, we receive the information of two tokens, uh, destination token amount. We'll get this amount of die in way 
And also here you can see the path that uh, that was founded founded by our algorithm Pathfinder. Um, you can see here um, first hop through one inch liquidity protocol and second hope uh, splits by two protocols. It's one inch liquidity protocol and curve. And um, the last uh, main hope uh, goes through Banker uh, from uh, Ethereum to another coin. And uh, on the last hope, in this main hope, we can see uh, the swap into DAI. Uh, and let's look at other parameters. Uh, if you want to integrate your API on your website uh, or mobile application, uh, you can set your custom fee and charge fees uh, through the users that uh, use your product. And the fee can set uh, from zero to 3% and the, the, the fee will charge uh, from a source token. For example, if you want to set 1%, uh, you will get one Ethereum from a swap or 100 Ethereum into DAI. And also you can uh, choose uh, what protocol protocols you want to uh, use uh, in the swap path. Um, by default, it's uh, it's all supported uh, protocols, and you can set um, your favorite one. For example, let's say I want to swap just using balancer, and let's try. And here we are. Our path will go only through balancer. Also, you can set the gas price uh, to find the best uh, path using uh, taking into account gas costs. And uh, by default, uh, our API um, choose a fast network gas price, this one. And uh, if you want to choose custom, just pass it here. Also, you can set up the complexity level. It's a number of connector tokens um, that use uh, that may be used uh, in a path. Um, uh, if you set, for example, free, the response time uh, will be slower. And if you send, for example, zero, uh, if you don't want to use any connector tokens, the response will be very Fast. And also you can um, um, specify the connector tokens you want to uh, use. Um, another interesting parameters, it's uh, parts and main road parts. Let's look at the uh, split path visualization. Uh, this percents, it's a uh, uh, splitted paths. We have uh, path, uh, this path with 50%, this path, and this. Um, this is the main road, uh, path, ma main road, main roads. And uh, if you want to split your source token amount between uh, different dexes, between different paths, you need uh, to specify. Uh, here, uh, the split amount you want uh, to try. Um, uh, and um, an hour, it's uh, just parts. Uh, you can, if you exchange uh, wrap tether to USDC, you can um, uh, split uh, this currency uh, between different DEXs. Okay, uh, main road parts, uh, it's uh, about different paths in the road and just parts, it's uh, split parts uh, between two uh, currencies and among uh, different DEXs. And uh, we got quote and let's look how to get the swap call data. Uh, you need 
to try swap method. Uh, there are uh, two, two more uh, required parameters. It's a wallet address and slippage. Um, from address, if you, for example, if you want to use uh, API from um, MetaMask wallet or other uh, wallets, just uh, normal Ethereum address, uh, you just set this address in this field. And if you want to use a uh, swap call data through your smart contract, you need to set here your smart contract address. Uh, and also don't forget to uh, set a flag, flag disable estimate to true. Um, because uh, if we set false, um, our API will try to uh, estimate your transaction. And uh, if your contract uh, doesn't have uh, enough funds or doesn't have uh, approval uh, to one inch contract, uh, the estimation will fail. Uh, in case with smart contract, you need to set uh, disable estimate flag to true. Let, let's try to get call data. For example, we'll exchange Ether to Dime, the same amount. And let's estimate the trade from zero address because zero address has enough funds for estimation. And also slippage, it's a um, uh, market uh, moves fast and uh, the rate during the transaction execution may change. And um, if you want to protect yourself from um, cha changing rate in the worst uh, direction, you can set, uh, for example, uh, 1% and uh, your minimal return will be uh, 99 Ethereum. And uh, also this uh, field protect, uh, protects you from uh, front running attack. And let's try to execute. Yeah, here we are. We have uh, the same fields as in quote, the protocols. And uh, we need to look at the uh, uh, TIGs uh, property in the main object. And here you can see uh, wall uh, call data that you need to pass to uh, your wallet or through the smart contract. Here's the value, gas price, uh, and also wall call data with from and to fields. Let's look at other parameters. Um, also here is a desk receiver field that allows you to uh, set the address that will um, receive funds. For example, if you are a merchant and you want to proceed uh, you, uh, clients uh, funds, you can just set your address here and uh, funds will be automatically converted uh, um, to some coin that you want to receive as a merchant. And next it's a referral address. And uh, this field um, is for charging fees. And uh, here you can set uh, the percent of fee you want to charge. Also gas price and another new option. It's a burn chi. Um, one inch API allows you to uh, save um, ga uh, gas costs during the transaction execution using uh, one inch chi gas token uh, that um, uh, allows you to re reduce costs. And if you uh, set to true, uh, and if you have enough uh, chi token balance on your wallet and also approve, for the one inch contract address that she will um, burn and you will uh, get the discount in gas 
for swap. And also you can uh, turn on and turn off a partial fill mechanism. It's a unique feature that's uh, supported uh, by one inch. Uh, for example, in this road, we have two different paths and uh, we set uh, slippage tolerance to 0.1%. And for example, market moves fast. And uh, if uh, the destination about amount on one of these um, roads will be less than this amount um, in uh, 0.1%, this road will fail and uh, uh, so source token will be returned to your wallet back. And if on other road um, will uh, completely successfully executed, then you will receive uh, the destination token. It's like a partial fill mechanism. And what else? And other parameters, it's the parts and main road parts, as I said before. Uh, also, you can find supported protocols in the protocol section. We have this big list of supported protocols and this list will increase by time. And um, uh, also our API um, supports custom tokens. If uh, one inch uh, doesn't support any token, you can just use custom tokens and uh, all needed data from token will be fetched during the API call and I will uh, that's I think that that's all that I want to say about the API and I will send the link for um, documentation and swagger API uh, to the chat okay uh, feel free to ask questions I'm happy to answer yeah, thanks, Kirill. So they, um, let's ask like what the best way to all the latest transactions, like the way Etherscan does. Like, I think uh, it's uh, better to redirect to graph or subgraph or something like this. Can you tell some extra details when they, where they can see uh, some I analytics? Am, yeah. Are you talking about uh, 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 specific wallet transactions uh, or uh, what else uh, on one inch you can see your past transactions in the transaction history with the links to other scan and um, also you can use um, the graph api yeah, can you uh, go by Graph API, just uh, uh, show the briefly what you can see and how it looks like. Okay. Um, you need to find one inch version two. I'll send the link to chat too. And for example, if you want to look at the swaps, and just uh, use a graph API, for example. If I want to look at last five um, uh, swaps, you can, I, you can just uh, execute the query and uh, here you can see um, the ID of pairs ID of swap and you can just go to other scan and look at the past transaction that was executed 32 seconds ago. Yes. Yeah, great, thank you. So now I can questions you want to ask.
Okay, so no questions. Um, yeah, again, I want to say if you have some questions, so feel free to contact us in the chat. So we are here to help. Uh, like, good luck with your hackathon tasks. Uh, all of them you can find on Medium and on Dev Follower. And um, let's uh, build the the future. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, should we? Thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks, Peter and uh, Kirill for uh, taking the time uh, to make it today. Uh, really looking forward uh, to seeing some exciting hacks being built on uh, the one inch API. And uh, yeah, personally, a big fan of uh, all the work that you've been doing. So, uh, really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Great, and thank you for organizing this. Yes, and for this opportunity, it's very nice. People is very uh, um, active, and I really like it. Like, good, good luck. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Kirill. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye.